There are few things more moving than to be part of a military troop coming home from war. Ivy Newsday had the opportunity to sit down with some really special people who have made these homecomings even better. It was interesting. Our general manager, Charles Montag at Paradise Casino, sent me an email asking that we do an ad in the Yuma Daily Sun because the military units were coming home from Af Afghanistan and we wanted an opportunity to thank the men and women for their service. I thought that was fine, but I was concerned that we would not touch enough people. Danielle Townsend and I were talking about different ideas and we ultimately met with Roger Lopez and the marketing team at MCAS and said we want to do something. We kicked around a number of different ideas when Danielle mentioned how it is when the men and women come home from serving our country. And what came to mind was a personal experience that I had when my husband was in the military and when he'd come back from deployment you have that excitement of, wow, your husband's back and the kids are excited and all of that. But for me, I always took a step back after I came down a little bit. I looked around and I saw how many um, men and women didn't have their families there. And I always wanted to try to see what I could do to change that. Uh, I know you can't move a mountain, but some way, somehow, there's got a way. There's got to be a way that you could do that. Roger Lopez recommended, what if we do a webcast? And Danielle and I said, well, what do you mean a webcast? He explained how they had used a webcast for another event and the impact of it. And we said, yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. Well, there's so many things we can do with that. So many people will be, you know, will be so excited that they can actually see the Marine coming home when they can't be here. My true realization of how special is, is when I took our, told our family readiness officer, they're in charge of doing the homecomings. Um, I've been doing webcastings for many years, did it for our air show. It didn't really touch me until I told that family readiness officer that Duke Chan was going to sponsor this webcast. And when I told to his, you know, hey, this is what we want to do, uh, his face was like this pure kind of, he wanted to run and tell the families. I then realized how special it was even more. I knew it was special. And then I just started really, really feeling how great it was. I mean, I had to almost tell him, hold off and telling the families, let me, let's put this thing together and then we'll start rolling it out. But he was just in pure excitement about it. I thought it was fabulous. I, um, I knew that I was able to watch the, the webcast from my computer as well. And when you saw these buses coming towards you, you know, even if you're here, you don't ever get a really good chance to see that because they're at the squadron coming in. But to see those those buses coming at you and the mom or dad's on the other side of the computer watching that, they got a feel of they were actually there. They got a feel that they got to see their, their son and daughter coming home and something I was hoping that I could do when my husband was in the military, that I could help others have the same feeling that the rest of us did when their Marine was coming home. So yeah. to me, when you see everybody typing in and you see moms or grandmothers or dads or even daughters and sons saying, oh my God, I get to see my dad, I get to see my, my mom, you know, I'm not there, but I see them. That was just totally emotional, as you can see. Yeah, and the, the biggest thing is, you know, everybody, 80% of our, uh, of, of the base is just single guys, you know, living in their barracks, you know, they're kids. The Kashan tribe started something very, very special here. The Kashan Tribe continues to partner with this community and does a lot for the community and rarely, you know, sounds its own horn or tries to take credit for a lot of the things that they do. But what they have started here is a groundswell, a grassroots operation where one tribal casino partnered with the U.S. Marines um, MCAS here in Yuma. And I expect that it is going to travel throughout the entire military branches. The moment that families were able to see the man or woman who had just come home from the war is an intensely emotional, very intimate. I can't even explain the emotion other than my own. And I will tell you, my heart was full. And so were my eyes as these men and women got off the buses and 
either into the arms of the few waiting family members or up to the camera to say, hello, hi mom, hi dad, I'm home.